in the East River. And joining us now is Archie Lee Coates. He is the project designer for Plus Pool Light Art Project. He's also the executive director of the Friends of Plus Pool, the nonprofit working to make the East River Pool a reality. Welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you for being here. I, we were, I was just saying to you during that story, it does look way cooler at night. It, it looks does. amazing. Yeah, thank you very much. Where did you come up with this idea? Um, my four friends, Jeff, Dong, and Juana, we um, thought it'd be really cool to visualize what we're doing in the river, which is educating people on the importance of clean water and and how great the water has uh, become over the past several years and we're trying to build a pool so that people can swim in it yeah we'll talk about the pool in just a second but it's interesting because I was looking on the website because it says the water an hour ago is great for swimming Correct. and then you list pathogens temperature clarity how do you come up with how, how the water is right now at sure. this moment in time we have an incredible instrument there that's there in the water and we have incredible partners Fluidian and Columbia University that help us really understand and translate what this data means for clean swimming so mm -hmm. uh, that information feeds into this light sculpture and the the lights change color based on the quality of the river at the time how many different colors are there uh, there's two main colors which are pink and blue it's pink if it's not swimmable and, okay. and blue if it is and l let's talk about the pool what where to explain a little bit more about what you hope to do with the pool sure um, I mean the goal is to get people swimming in the East River cleanly and safely for the first time in almost 100 years mm -hmm. as architects artists and designers my friends and I you know wanted to create a way to do that um, and so we had to create a little bit of technology with a variety of partners over the past several years and now we're at the point where we're answering uh, the city of New York's uh, RFEI for a water filtering floating pool um, at Pier 35 which we're really really excited to do and so the water is actually water from the East River correct it'll filter a million gallons of East River water every day making it uh, just like the East River except for for cleaner and safer and protected from the currents. I was going to say, what would you say to people who like Kramer in that clip from Seinfeld? I mean, he was fine swimming in it, but so yeah. many people are very, very hesitant. Sure. I was too when I moved to the city, you know, 10 years ago. Uh, but the city has made incredible strides and improvements to make it uh, much more clean than it has been. And it actually, you'll see from the light installation that it's clean the majority of the time, mm -hmm. uh, which is incredibly uh, heartening and exciting. What do you think, what, what were some of the things that have been done over the last few, several years to make it cleaner? Yeah, I mean, there's been an incredible amount of uh, environmental education. There have been organizations like uh, you know, Riverkeeper and Waterkeeper and the Waterfront Alliance that have done a lot of work to, to clean it up and to make sure that we're taking better care of it, um, better better systems throughout the city. When do you, as we look at more more renderings of the pool, I mean, the views are spectacular. When do you Thank hope you. that that perhaps the city gives you the green light on this? When do you, what, what is your, your goal date? Sure, yeah, so we're answering this, this RFEI from the city, from the EDC, Economic Development Corporation. We hope to hear back uh, af soon after we submit um, and if that all goes well then it'll take anywhere from a year to two for permitting and a year for construction so several years we could be swimming in the river have, you, have you done this anywhere else and I know you're from Virginia Beach originally have you done this in any other city no this would be the first of its kind there are floating pools throughout the world but none that actually filter the river water um, so it's it's the first in the world uh, and we really want to do it here first we feel like it's ex extremely important uh, for New York to be the first that has this sort of project so. and the art in installation how long is that going to be in the river for it's up for several months through for, the end of the year yeah through the end of the year okay so to be continued on this and the pool keep us posted thank you so much thank you so much Archie Lee Coates we appreciate you coming in and for more information on all of this you can head to our website cbsnewyork.com and coming up we'll have a rundown of the forecast and more news stay with us